Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sharmin. Today I'm going to talk about synthesis of ATP. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, energy for ATP synthesis can become available in two ways in respiration energy released by recognizing chemical bonds during glycolysis okay so you can see here the diagram okay and the Krebs cycle is used to make some ATP however most ATP in cells is generated using electrical potential energy and this energy is from the transfer of electrons by electron carriers in mitochondria and chloroplast so it is stored as a difference in proton concentration across some phospholipid membrane in mitochondria and chloroplast okay so i hope you understand and which are essentially impermeable to protons so protons are then allowed to flow down their concentration gradient through a proton protein their spans and uh, the phospholipid bilayer part of this proton acts as an enzyme that synthesis atp and is called atp synthesis okay so so yeah and is called atp synthesis so the transfer of three protons allows the production of atp molecule and provided that adp molecule and adp and inorganic phosphate group are available inside the uh, organelle and this process occurs in both mitochondria and chloroplast so the process was first proposed by peter michael in 1961 is called uh, chemo osmosis okay so atp synthesis has three binding site and a part of the molecule okay and uh, that rotates as hydrogen ions pass this process this produces structural changes in the binding sites and allow them to pass sequently to um, three phases binding adp and pi and forming tightly bond atp and releasing atp so guys i hope that's all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and that's all, thank you very much.